restored? What is the current state of that? Um, you know, as a business rep and sitting here, don't tend to look at race or gender. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at the contract. Um, if the company uh, is going to harass you, it doesn't matter what your gender or your race is. I'm still going to file a grievance or a complaint. Uh, in the early in the early days when I first came on board in '78, there was, you know, the good old boy. You had the good old country boys were in charge, and uh, you had to be a good old boy to get along. Okay, I think most of that's gone. Hell, most of our of our leaders over there now are, are women, and I think that's a great thing. They've mm -hmm. changed the workplace. They've changed the way we do now. I'm I'm old school, and come out of the oil field and I'm, I'm used to cussing and now I have to watch and filter myself so and I think it does make it better the women that are entering the workplace under our contract they get the same wage as a man okay black white brown or yellow they get the same wage depending on their classification so if we work within the confines of the contract there would be no racism that aside, you still got a few folks that, whether they know it or not, have it within themselves to do that. And occasionally, from time to time, we have to battle that issue. Our stances were all one, okay? And the best way to look at it is um, I'm a racist, okay? I'm a human racist. I believe we're all human. I don't see. A white man or a black man standing in front of me, I see a man standing in front of me. So, and that's the way most of the business rich reps and, and most of the people now.